Hey guys, Polu here, and welcome back to some more Nino Kuni. So, we arrived here in Perdita, or Perdida, there's no T in it, and Queen Kulan uh, had a nightmare inside her. We defeated it, and discovered a new piece of heart, Love, which we have to give to her. We have not done that yet. Uh, I went to go save and sleep just to replenish our health and mana, and decided to hop in here to see if we can grab any any new quests. But as you can see, I found Horus. So let's go give Horus a talk real quick. See what we'll get from him this time around. Oh, it's you, Ollie. You must have a lot of time on your hands to climb up all the way here. We had a dragon take us here. Must have been tough for you, huh? Hardly. One of the great things about being a ghost is that I can pretty much go everywhere. Anyway... Take a look at the words on this board here. They're written in funny letters, aren't they? Those are the Sagely Stone... Those, those are from the Sagely Stone Age. This town is so remote that there are still traces of those times here. Blame me. I can't make head nor tail of that wonky writing. I suppose they do look a bit like Nazgan. Now that I think about it. Maybe you're not as stupid as you look, Pipsqueak. <laughs> wow. They're actually based on Nazgan runes. And speaking of Nazcan, it's been a while since I gave you something to decipher. If you look through the chapter called Regions of the World in your Wizard's Companion, you'll find bits of Nazcan here and there. There's a certain character that only appears in one location. My question is, where? Don't worry. This one isn't as hard as it sounds. Well, not quite. When you work it out, let me know. What? Um... Okay. Uh, some of the modern legend letters do not exist. Oh, modern letters. Okay. I was getting script letters, but dizzying varieties of tripper. Tripartite glyphs, however the low bore is. Blah, blah, blah. Gold mine. It's notable for its lack of both space between words and punctuation. Hot blooded young wizards in training are often heard complaining of the difficulty this creates. To address these complaints more directly, fact totally script, corporate, da da da. Astute souls. Hope I now have noticed that the Nazcan script does not distinguish between lower and uppercase letters. In fact, it was not until the development of the printing press many centuries fall. After the fall of the civilizations, that such distinction was conceived. As the accompanying guide shows, constitute letters of Nazcan and modern alphabets do not correctly correlate. It was due to the fact that certain modern letters were invented after Nazcan alphabet fell from use. Certain Nazcan letters were ultimately the victims of modern printing methods, which saw them rendered as pairs of other legends, for example. Our little W is a modern rendering of the Nazcan double at or VV hole itself. The ancient equivalent of both modern V and U. Nazcan letter that, meanwhile, survives only as it sounds and is a rendered combination. Likewise, what? Two modern letters is only represented by one inch symbol. I thought it was going to tell me, like, where I can find... Oh, my God. Um, Worked it out yet? Let me give you a question. If you look through the chapter, regions of the world, find bits of Nazcan. Okay, regions of the world. Let's... Uh, oh, okay, okay, I see. Green Grotto, Fairy Ground, Trials. I... Heh. <laughs> Xanadu, that looks neat. 
Forest dwellers. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Google. <laughs> Horus Pandita answer. Doop, 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 doop. Uh, Horus Riddle Solution, Alma Moon, Castaway Cove, Fairy Grounds, Hamelin, Yule, Perdita. Solve his riddle, Jabal Al Dukan. Or Old Smokey. Old Smokey looks a lot easier to type. So, that's a zero. Uh, I believe, okay. Old. Smokey. There we go. So we got the veil spell <laughs> for all of that. How long did that take? Six minutes. All right. Not terrible, but you know. Stay safe by concealing yourself from enemies. Oh, that sounds amazing. All right, I'm I'm done talking to you, Horus. Big Island. There's a Fibbin. Shh. I wanna leave. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's. Let's go back to where we left off last episode and use Take Heart. No, we have to talk to him first. Okay. Take Heart. So what's it look like? Kind of like a heart. Not, not too surprised there. <laughs> Thanks, Sam Kublai. Gee, that sure is a lot of love. Should be more than enough. Now we just need to give old Kulan a lend of it. I'm counting on you, boy. Use your magic to give her my love and bring her back to me. Curse you, Kublai. I, no, I have no need of love from a baseborn ruffian such as you. You know the drill, Lolly boy? Shovel that love in her... Shovel that love her way, and she might be right as rain. Uh, give. Here we go. B -b how my my heart? Kublai. Your Highness, so you are back with us. I spoke so harshly to you now. Can you find it in your heart to forgive me? Gah, think nothing of it. It was a pleasure to hear such rough and ready words from the mouth of a noble-born lady. Pray do not mock me, Kublai. I'm just glad Queen Kulan's not broken-hearted anymore. Too right. I must say I'm impressed with the old pirate face by here. As two servings of his heart, we felt ourselves to know. You're right. Seems as if his love for the queen is a little bit special. You call me queen. I am I am unworthy of such a title. The skyborn kingdom of Xanadu was torn from the heavens and cast into the distant ocean. I could not protect my realm. And then I came to this town and broke the hearts of its people. Truly, I am no queen. But your highness, you shouldn't be so hard on yourself. Listen to me, the people of Xanadu saw you as a wise and just ruler. You carried out your duties both as queen and as sage, and trained countless wizards. Have you forgotten all the good you've done? Kublai, what you say may be true, but it does not excuse the harm I have caused. I've inflicted so much suffering. Your Highness, we met the ghost of a lady in Hamelin, a soldier who once served you. She was one of the people who died in Xanadu. And she told us that so long as Queen Kulan was alive, there was hope for her people. She spoke of me? She spoke of hope. And look around you. The people of this town may be brokenhearted, but at least they're alive. Your Highness, let us return this town to its former self. 
It may take time, but I know you can do it. You may not be the queen any longer, but we still stand beside you. You're not alone, and who's to say you can't rebuild Xanadu? Oh, Kublai, thank you. Thank you to everyone. You are right. I cannot give in to despair. I must become someone who can inspire hope in others. That is my duty. You aren't the only great sage who was led astray. My father and Marcuson suffered too. Yes, and Oliver here helped them just like he helped you. And now you're all fighting fit. The battle against evil can finally begin in earnest. Wait a minute. There's something I've been dying to ask. I need to know how long something's been going on between Queen Kulan and Kublai. I mean, a queen in a sky pair, it's so romantic. Yeah. Do you have to be so nosy? Kublai is known and feared as the king of the sky pirates, but there's no more to him than meets the eye. You're quite right, I'm a man of many talents, and being the fearless leader of a band of swashbuckling sky pirates is just one of them. Kublai also served as the commander of the Zanduvian Airborne Division, in which role he fought for Queen Kulan. Avast, I can speak for myself, you slack jaw curd. <laughs> you were commander in Xanadu? Indeed, he was. Since the time of the Wizard Wars, Xanadu was avoided con has avoided conflict. But neutrality cannot be maintained without significant military power. Kublai's forces formed part of that power. Oh, I get it. The lowly servant who ended up falling head over heels in love with the queen. That's a classic. Swain, do you always have to be so blunt? Arr, but it's true. I've watched over her since she was but a girl. And I can't say I don't feel for her. But I am a mere soldier, and there's not can be. D Wait, so how old is he compared to her? Because that just makes it weird. All right. Gee, that must be tough. But that was then. Things have changed. Changed? Changed how exactly? Did you not hear my words earlier? I am queen no longer. There are no ranks or barriers to keep us apart. C can it be? Do you truly mean? I have been quite clear. Please do not make me spell it out. I, uh, I... Come on, Co Kublai, don't be so slow. Fabian Hickman, put us out our misery, won't you? How many times are you going to make the poor orphan say it? Still your chattering tongues or I'll cut them off. You stand before this king of the sky pirates. God, all right, all right. Benevolent grace of the queen of the heavens heart has unlocked a story in the wizard companion. Obtain a new tale of wonder, how the little girl became queen. The hearts of the people of Perdita have been restored. Young Nina, you must have been terribly afraid. I apologize most humbly for my actions. Do not worry, Queen Kulan. I am happy that you have become so kind and gentle. Everything in Perdita is so bright and happy now. We will never give in to Shadar. Your words are music to my ears. Truly, children like you are the bearers of hope, the hope of a brighter future. We who are old enough to know better choose the path of cowardice. All we wanted was to be free of fear, to pr be protected from the truth. Well, what's done is done, and all that. I just hope that Rata Shadar is not still hanging around, waiting to pounce like. I know what I must do. My duty is to protect the people of Perdita from Shadar. I vow never to let his dark despair engulf this town again. I will make amends for all I have done. Gracias, your highness. Arr, then it seems I have no choice. I'll throw my lot in with you, your highness. We'll protect this puny village together. No, Kublai, there are other duties to which you must attend. It is not only this town that must be protected from the d dark pall of Shadar's despair. With your airship, you may travel freely around our world. Do you understand what it is that I ask of you? Ah, I do at that only too well. No, but you only just got together. <laughs> Kublai, though we may be apart, we will always be together, as long as we share the same goal. <laughs> You're not wrong, Your Highness. You always did have a way with words. Looks like everything's worked out then. Oh, but before I forget... There was a reason we came here, to the middle of nowhere. 
I am aware of this. It concerns Mornstar, does it not? Yes, we were trying to restore its power. We did manage to find the three magic stones, but even Marcuson couldn't reunite them with the wand. It was... It was beyond Marcuson's power, you say? How could that be? Tell me more. Well, he speculated that it might be because he, we brought Monster here from the past. Hmm. A masked wizard who can manipulate time himself. I'm curious as to what his intentions could be. But I shall ponder that at my leisure. Our priority is to put a stop to Shadar's plans. He'll perform the required ritual without delay. Daddy, sounds like old Kulan knows what needs to, what he's doing to get Monster back in one piece, eh? There's handy. Now, young Oliver... I shall require some assistance in this undertaking. Are you willing to help me? Sure, King Kulan. Just tell me where I have to, what I have to do. A fine response. The ritual must be performed outside. When you are ready, come and see me. I shall be waiting. Oh, I thought we were going to have to go find, like, a, like a catalyst or something. But I see. Hello. Give me your heart. Is it love? Yep. All right. Take. And then the two travelers are probably going to just just popped up. They've been in every town, and I have to give one of them something or another to keep going. Are they right there? Oh, they're right there. How convenient. Okay. Oh, she needs confidence. I don't have any of that. Unless you have confidence. Uh, what you got, what you got, what you got? Confidence! Aha! So it looks like... We're able to go get Mornstar powered up. And I guess that means we will be able to open that purple chest and every other purple chest that we've had to just pass on. Which I'll probably do on, off camera. Um, just go teleport everywhere, use chart chest, find wherever the, the purple chest in that area is, take it, and you know, so on and so forth. Ooh. A tonic? What is a tonic? Fully restores HP. Okay. What is this old man? Back aches. Does it matter? No more special compresses. Kind of cold compress. Handmade by Tomte. Okay, so that's... Jeez, look at the stamps that he'll give us for that. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll grab all these off camera. I don't want to just sit here and do that. Let's go ahead and get Mornstar going. Maybe we begin the ceremony, Oliver. Uh, sure, ready when you are, Your Highness. Oliver, do you know of a spell named Rejuvenate? Sure I do. It turns back the clock for objects to before they were old or broken. Well, it is the memory retained within objects that is being revived. Only the spell Breach Time allows time itself to be manipulated. Now I believe that Rejuvenate should be able to restore the magic stones to the state they were in 15 years ago. Oh, I get it. That way they'll be the same as Mornstar from 15 years ago, huh? Indeed. And we need to combine the spell Rejuvenate with the ritual required to reunite the spells with Mornstar. Flippin' heck, wouldn't that be a bit of a stretch even for you, your, your heavenliness? It will not be easy, and I understand why Marcuson balked at the challenge, but I believe that I can do this for you. Thank you, your highness. Now, without further ado, let the ritual commence. <laughs>
Oh shit! Orange Star is complete! The ritual is complete. What you hold now is Morn Star in its true form. Please consult your wizard's companion. The one's power has restored new pages with new spells for you to use. So we got Healing Hand. Restore someone who teeters upon the brink of death to health. So is that... If they're downed? Trust in fate and hope for the best. Fortune's full. Interesting. Unleash. Summon powerful beasts to do your bidding. Okay. These spells look so neat. The spell known as Unleash will prove very useful to you, I am certain. Doubtless you have done battle with those creatures known as Guardians, whose poor hearts have been broken by Shaddaa. When you defeated them, you received certain gemstones, did you not? <gasps> That's right, they dropped them big jewels, ain't it, Dolly Boy? These gems are symbols of the Guardian's gratitude, contain a part of their spirit and life force. By using Unleash, you can channel the energies which reside in the gems and call upon the Guardian's strength in battle. With their powers at your command, you will be able to hold your own even against your dark. Oh my god, that is amazing! Thank you, your highness. It sounds like it'll come in real handy. <laughs> that doesn't sound too shabby, does it, Oliver? Shadar will be quaking in his boots. You are now better equipped to face Shadar in battle, but a serious obstacle stands between you and any such encounter. Oh, here we flip and go. What is it this time? Shadar dwells within the castle of Nevermore. It lies to the north of here, beyond the Miasma Marshes. Should a careless traveler be engulfed by the dark Miasma, for which the marshes are known, they will be lost forever. Wait a second, the Miasma Marshes, I... What is it, Esther? Have you heard of them? It's something my father once spoke of. He told me of a mist that was so dark that no light could penetrate it. The miasma. He said that the only way to clear it was with the call of the Clarion. The Clarion? I remember you saying that we'd be the ones to play it again, Esther. Yes, the Clarion is a symbol of peace that was created by the three kings of this world. Now, what was that rhyme? In Ding Dong Dell, they carved full well that old Mamuni would, and bear it then to Hamelin to make it sound so good. I am impressed. I am impressed by your knowledge, Esther. But then you are the daughter of a great sage. Oh, it's just a rhyme. I learned it when I was little. So if we give this clarion a good honk, it'll clear a path across the miasma marshes, will it? That is correct. And the first thing you require to make the clarion is the holy wood. At the old Mamuni Wood. I think I think it's time that we paid the Khalifa a visit. Alright. So, can we, like, check the Morningstar? Earned a trophy Wonder Wand. Did its magic attack increase after that? I'm not sure. Alright. So, so, we have you. Oh, well, there's a person over here who needs something or another. It's this one. No. Cannot forget the dream. Sounds like a strange dream. Your soulmates. Come from another world completely different from yours. And just in case you ever meet that girl. And what is a flower? So go to Mer Motorville. Okay. And talk to whoever her soulmate may be. Actually, well, dip, 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 dip. can make up my mind. Let's go open this chest. I'll probably do all the errands and chest opening. I don't know if I'll do it right after this episode. So I'd like to record another one. Healing hand completely heals the craziest of wounds. 18 mana. Uh, Veil. Let's see, where's Spring Lock? There it is. You can finally open, what is it? Bottle of Nostrum. Fully restores MP. Oh, okay. 
So where are we at on time? 25 minutes. Um, I think I'm going to grab these last two, because one of these is bound... Oh, you. So path is crossed once again. Because I want you to assist me with that critically important research, of course. Okay. So what does he want? Oh my gosh, what is that? Seven stamps for that. Okay. He's doing research. The process of metamorphosis. There are some creatures who advance forms I have yet to observe. Oh, God. A Wispula, the metamorphic... Oh, that is not the one we picked! Grocer oh. A Flash Fry. And a Trumpy. I have the Trumpy Pumper. But I don't have the Wispula. God damn it. I don't know if I even want to do that one. We get a bunch of stuff from it, but... Oh, God. All right. What does this thing want? <laughs> Starving. I want food. Our entire of its frankly one-dimensional taste. Gourmet treat. Babana. Merchant who once came here amongst his wares refreshed babanas. Bring me a babana, and I'm sure I can find something. Do I have a babana on me? Is that... Yeah. Right. Let's just finish that. Here we go. Oh, wait. Do you want something else? A glow shrimp. I think I have one of the... Oh, I don't have a glow shrimp. I know where I can get one. Um, but we're at 27 minutes. I'll, I'll finish that off camera. Awesome that we have more in Star Complete, though. So with that, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. We have, I guess, one final quest to take on before we're heading for Shadar. We have to... We have to assemble and play the Clarion. But anyways, hopefully you all enjoyed... I will see you all next time.